the betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. We're on to race number two now that will jump at 1300 hours. It's over 1000 meters. Before we give you our selections and previews, we're going to look at a rerun of China Berry as well as an interview with Duncan Howells, Carl Hewitson, and Stuart Ferry. Ground. Dapper's also running a big race at the 200. Yes, Soho Star now coming together with a banner moon. Dapper. All the while, China Berry's trying to warm up on the inside. And here comes China Berry becoming electrified. China Berry's going to get up on the post. Very close. Soho Star, Havana Moon. And then. 21 May didn't have a bad run first time out. This race is against winners, and I think he'll need another race just to come to his peak. But he's also with ability and he could place. Yeah, it was a lovely first run. Uh, he just got tired, it was too far. He moved up really quickly and then he was there for a while and petered out, I think, back to the 1,000. With his allowance and plus Rachel's allowance, it's a big kick, so I think he'll be thereabouts. Yeah, he's, uh, I've actually got his half-sister, a spustiki. Uh, he's a lovely little horse for one of my newer patrons, Paul Fu. Um, I don't think he runs too bad. He's very, very quick out the pens. I know he's up against winners, but he gets that little bit of allowance, so I don't think he'll disgrace himself. Uh, yeah, Riverdance, he, he disappointed us a little first time. I thought he might run a bit better than that, but obviously he's just green and he probably needed it. I was probably a bit soft on him going into the race. Uh, competitive this time, but, um, you know, he's he probably need one more. And then uh, I think in time he's also going to want, uh, you know, the 1400. So, you know, there's an opportunity just to give him another one down the straight and uh, uh, hope for a bit of improvement there. Well, we've had a good look at those uh, that rerun and listen to those interviews. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Top three selections for me, Sheldon, numbers one, two, and three. I really like number one, Cole Shine from the Peter Musket Yard with Richard Furry aboard. Does have the experience under the belt. And the last run, there was one or two excuses, was checked by the vet on that occasion. And the fact that, they, that they've engaged Richard Furry once again, he's ridden the horse before. I think this could take some beating here, but healthy respect to the others. 100% right, I'm on the same page with you. Number one, Cold Shine. Firstly, A, the fact that they took this individual down to Cape Town meant that he had ability. Secondly, they raced him in a stronger field last time out when things didn't map out. But judging him on the debut run when he showed a lot of speed, finished second to Roman Agent, I fully agree. From that number one draw, 57 kilograms, although taking on winners, the horse to beat. Number two, Cola Tonic, who finished ahead of number one, Cold Shine, last time out but also probably had excuses so we'll go one two and then a horse like number nine china berry and number three grow field those are the type of horses that we would expect to be in the money and if you want to throw in one other runner perhaps number seven notable worth a say but number one cold shan we believe he might bring some light at the end of the tunnel It's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.